else all nice. Got the Peak brand. I got the lo logo. It's kind of clean. I got the gaming in the background. You know, I'm a real gamer. Yo, what's up? Thanks, man. Anyways, welcome to the first official legal branded Lawrence's Library. I'm Lawrence. Uh, that is my name. I'm going to give this intro for, for when this gets on, on the YouTube channel. But I'm Lawrence. That's my name. My tag is uh, LS. Uh, I do commentary stuff for Peak. I also compete in events, but not really right now because they've all been online and I like offline stuff a lot more. And uh, basically what this is, is every week I think we're going to upload uh, like one of these and I'm going to go through a set from uh, a peak event. Um, in these stream sessions, I'm going to do about three or four, but typically I'm going to go through and do about, uh, I think just one a week. And they're, they're not going to be like super mega long when they're videos, but I just kind of want to go through these. Uh, analyze them a little bit more. Uh, they might be sets I commentated already. They might not be. At the end of the day, um, this isn't a way for me to be like, oh, right, here's what they could have done better. I'm going to coach. It's really just trying to get a, a deeper look into the game and uh, understand how some things work in this game a lot more, a lot, you know, just kind of get that, that further understanding for, for me and for everybody. So, yeah. So the person we're going to look at today is uh, PK Zap, the Lucas Main, and the Mania 616, the Piranha Plant from our uh, Midweek Madness event. And, um, turn that down a little bit. I think that's fine. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're starting on PS2. Uh, so this is a very interesting set because Mania, as far as I know, a lot of people in chat were talking about how good Mania was and like, yo, Mania is so hype, hype plant. And then PK Zap tried to play on stream earlier, but he got uh, taken out because of lag. Um, and I'm already going to rewind because I think a few in uh, interesting things have already happened. From the start of the match, we see uh, PK Zap, uh, rather than just kind of going for like PK Fire or anything, he goes on the offensive, going into that run up fair, and Mania punishing it with the uh, Patui. And the thing about Plant is that that's a very solid option, and that's going to like make up a lot of their their neutral and a lot of their punish game, especially. Catching their opponent um, with those moves on like whiff or when they get too close. Um, and PK Zap, just throughout the entirety of this match, makes a really strong point of always trying to be in his opponent's face. Um, we see these run-up fairs, and this interaction right here is very, very important. So I'm going to rewind a little bit, right? We see Mania throwing out that move. Um, and we see PK Zap throwing out the PK Fire. It's not going to connect. Uh, Mania opts for the Patui. And because it was already out, because it comes out so quickly, uh, it knocks PK Zap like all the way out here. And Mania is only at 17%. So Mania opts to run up, and in this instance, he's charging up this move right here. Alone doing this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind just just a little bit one more time, right? So we see Mania run up, set up uh, this move right here. Uh, I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit, just just you know to see it. And in this instance, PK Zap has been playing very offensively, very aggressively the entire uh, just first few minutes of the first, like not even 30 seconds of the game. He's made it a point to try and be in Mania's face at all times. And Mania knows that, and he's covering all of his options with stuff like Patui and um, with his down special. So he's charging it up here, and at this point, he's already tipped over. So really, he has this kind of area, um, this kind of window to hit PK Zap with this move. It's got a big hitbox. Um, it extends out very far, especially on the full charge. So now PK Zap... His options are to either try and, and clank with it, or try and fade out and avoid it, or jump over it in some kind of like an arc. Uh, ooh, you know what I'm going to do? Because I got this dope pen tool, right? So I'm going to bam, bam, right? I'm just going to leave that there for a second. But, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go with the white. Does white work? White works, okay. Uh, so... Basically, what PK Zap is stuck to do in this situation is he either has to jump over to this area. That's a horrible. That was a horrible line. That was not the the angle I don't want to show you guys at all. Um, but what he has to do, <laughs> yes sir, the pen. Uh, he has to either that that's not great either. But it, you you get the gist. He's got to go at like this kind of an angle to get uh on the platform, get away from being in range of the um long stem attack coming from plant that down special uh or he can just fade down here or really just kind of fade back so his options are, are these three things 
The only problem with those two options on the bottom is that Mania charging this up has kind of this whole area uh, to cover with that attack. That's not a perfect shape, but the idea is that he's got this big danger box present uh, and aware for him to use against his opponent. So now we see PK Zap, you know. Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> we see PK Zap, alright, and he's he's fading in at this half speed, and he, he's right in the box. Uh, it, it gets bigger because, you know, the camera zooms in. But he's still kind of in this big danger box uh, just the entire time. Why did it get bigger? Um, and now we just see, like, he, he is caught by that because he wanted to fade in fair. And now he's he's just going to get punished for it. So then I will go ahead and speed this back up. Bam. Uh, so Mania, very strong lead, only at 17%. PK is up, still on the offensive, still trying to push really hard. And now we see the beginning of the conditioning. In that instance right there, right? Mania setting things up. The Patui covering the back air, hitting him with the forward air. Throwing out the, the landing fair because he's PK is up to stay swinging. And he throws up the shield. And this is where we see the beginning of PK is up starting to block against this attack just out of, out of fear. Knowing that if he if he gets hit by it, he's going to get messed up. We also see an amazing use of the Poison Cloud by Mania. Setting it up and kind of seeing PK Zap think, oh, I can catch him with PK Fire. But instead, how he just went over him like that, it's because he's charging up that same move again. Pops out of the smoke and bam, just hits him with down special. Throws up the Patui. Gets caught by PK Freeze, but it's no problem because he still has such a great advantage on stage. PK Zap opting to move above that move, uh, above this second charging of uh, down special instead. See, he did a good job. Instead of just staying at the ledge, he goes on the platform. Goes in, tries him with a, a falling up air, but the thing is, the hitbox on that isn't big enough to connect. Um, and now he just keeps pushing. There's the Patui again. Charging up down special one more time. He's got the big danger box. I'm going to get the pen out one more time. I think there's a way for me to just keep it on screen. How do I erase everything? There we go. Alright, so I think I'm just going to leave this up in this top right corner, right? Uh, bit, bit, bam. Uh, I can't tell if that made it better or worse. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. But you see, again, this this danger zone, right? Probably going to change again if the camera shifts. Uh, PK Fire is not going to connect, and even if it does, he can armor through it. So now, go here. Uh. Uh, we see see the big floating danger zone. Just this whole area. I, I want to leave it here because that's a very good uh, like sign of all of this space that Mania can kind of hold as plant. All right. See now I'm gonna erase it. Throwing the stuff out again. PK Zap often is gonna go for these PK freezes to try and just stop Mania from coming back. It's kind of like uh, for me personally akin to throwing out arc fire on stage to stop your opponent from attacking you. But the thing is he knows it's gonna happen again, so he can avoid it really well. And now we see again more conditioning, more holding a uh, block against the down special. And I don't like the situation at all as to what just happened. Um, because, you know, we see getting back to stage. And Mania is at, at 48. You're Lucas, you're at one, like 111. You're down a stock. Throwing him further on stage instead of trying to go for a ledge guard opportunity or, or, or anything. The, the forward throw is something I don't agree with. Back throw probably it wouldn't have killed, but it would have put him in a bad position. And now they've already switched back to this kind of dance on the other side of the stage. P uh, barely whiffing the PK fires, throwing out the PK freeze. Mania knows it's coming. It's like, again, it's the third time it's happened. Uh, and then this is the third lesson we have to learn about this move. It has armor, and PK Zap isn't aware of that. And then he gets exposed, holds the shield, tries to cover it with grab, and then gets caught by the Patui. So now PK Zap uh, at a huge deficit. Um, more hiding in the smoke like we saw earlier. Uh, dude, it's just, Mania is doing such a good job of just coming back to the things that he did before. Going deep, uh, not putting Zap in a tech situation, but enough to, uh, put just a lot more pressure on him offstage. Zap had trying to, like, fade in and out with these Batuis, opting to finally back up instead, going for another fourth throw, and I don't really agree with it. Mania landing on the shield. Uh, this time going for the parry, but the Patui breaking through that downer. And potentially saving the stock from that spike. More armor through because of PK Thunder. And now we just see PK Zap kind of dance back and forth at the ledge. 
trying really hard to just catch Mania, catch him off guard, get something going. And again, just these, he's going to keep using it. As long as it works, he's going to keep using it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Going mad deep. And finally, we see an up throw. 177. We see some kind of kill throw, some damage coming out of PK Zap off of that first sock from Mania. Just enti getting entirely outclassed by his opponent. Throwing out another Patui. A, a pretty interesting uh, ledge guard. A lot of plants kind of do that where they, they go low and they throw it out to catch their opponent getting back to stage. Going out deep. Opting for the up throw. And then I think in this situation, yeah, he tries to get the snipe. It doesn't connect. We see another poison cloud come out. Zap jumps over it. But this was such good positioning from, um, I'm going to get rid of that, from, from Mania. He set up this entire block at the ledge and forced uh, Zap to either roll in and take damage from the poison cloud or jump over and just do his best to avoid getting caught by this. But he didn't realize that the bigger threat was the, the main key component. The thing that Mania has been using so often, that Plant uses so often in their kit because it's such an integral tool. The Patui was so important the entire game. And PK Zap just gets punished for it. I'm wearing the same hoodie right now that I was during the set. That's kind of weird. We're gonna go into the second game of the set. You know, we we start out, we switch to battlefield. PK Zap switching to a uh, Pac-Man. Um, and I guess you know if the Lucas wasn't working out, you gotta you gotta use what you learned though in that first set. You see Patui Integral, a lot of damage, knocking away a uh, Hydrant twice, man, twice. I'm going to rewind a little bit just to see if I can get a better understanding of what's going on. But Pac-Man, traditionally a really good zoner, a lot of really good up-close options. There's the first time that he tries to throw out a hydrant. I think this time he was just trying to stall in the air. Um, I don't think he meant it to be like an offensive option. Like, oh, I'm going to catch him off guard with the spike. You know, I think he was like, I'm going to stay up here a little bit longer and then kind of try and work my way back in. Uh, however, it just it got caught by Patui again. And now you're already at like 49 Mania doing a great job getting back to stage at the ledge. Um, throwing, I think he just bashed him into the hydrant. I just want to see that happen again. You see this? Yeah, okay, that was weird. But we see Mania still casing a lot of uh, excellent work right now. Just keeping PK Zap, uh, not, not trapped, but just struggling to get back to stage. And struggling to find any options because of how good of a, like, an option Patui is. Ops to not jump in this time, knowing that he can get caught by that Patui. I really like that. So in that last set, we saw um, we saw how it ended with him jumping over the poison cloud and then getting caught by the Patui, which did come out. So instead, he just kind of waits here, takes the extra damage. Instead of going in this kind of arc and getting caught, just does normal get up, hold shield, but nares on on the charge up, and he knows it's got armor by now. And then gets caught by by jeez that was that was quick too dash up Patui. You see a down throw and I again I don't I understand wanting to get your opponent uh, get more damage on your opponent before um or just while the match is going on. However, uh, did I go too far back? I did. Uh, bam. However, at the same time, I think that in opportunities like this where you guys are this close to the ledge. A back throw is not just going to send him right here. He's at least going to be a little further out, and you can set up some ledge trapping opportunities. Pac-Man, a really good zoner, really good projectiles with the fruit, and, and just kind of setting up hydrant to keep your opponent off stage um, in some situations. But the down throw into the... Trying to read the tech roll in. I'm going to got uh, by that. What percent was he at? Was that... He was high, right? Yeah, one, yeah okay, 174, yeah. Now Peek is up, charging up the Galaga. We haven't seen him use it like at all. He's trying to get like the the the, the custom combos going, um, but they're just not really working out. And we see him again, just just struggling to get around and get through Mania, jumping over, uh, down special that time. He reads the roll in, but he 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 read it a little too early. It's caught by Jab now. Mania reading him, getting over him, uh, just just straight just shoots straight up. Keeping PK Zap off stage as much as possible. The bell into a messed up punish. I, I think that was just a misinput. He wanted the forward smash that first time, and then he he just got jabbed. Cause you hate to see it, cause now that happens, and Mania is up three stocks to one, just like in the last game. 
and we're not seeing a, a great showcase of like, oh, I learned this in the last matchup or in the last match, so now I can I can I can capitalize on that. So far, all we see PK Zap really do is learn about getting around the down special instead of getting uh, trying to like face it and, and fight it. And we see him holding shield, not opting to run away or anything. Finally, we see a grab. Uh, the first time we've seen him try and grab that move, but it's a little too late in the set for him to try and do that. Doing a really good job now, just kind of ledge trapping his opponent. Hydrant staying out a little longer. Tries to go for the forward air to, uh, from the ledge. And now, uh, Ops go for another grab. There's the back throw. Not going to kill just yet. And there's the Hydrant. There we go. A perfect angle to catch Mania. But Mania now sitting an entire stock still in his back pocket. No more cu or no custom Galaga combos are going to connect. Setting it up again in the smoke. Really good job. Another sh uh, showing PK Zap. PK, PK Zap, excuse me. Uh, that he's learned from this set, um, how this time is set. Of, he, he waited for that to come out. He knew that he was going to do that in the Poison Cloud the third time he's done it. What, that, that comes out so quickly. Pitui. Standing in the grab. He's doing a really good job at landing these grabs as compared to last game with, uh, with Lucas. Especially because now he knows to, to just grab him when he's charging. Being really careful about getting back on stage while he charges that move. And now Pika is up, trying to dash back and forth, find an option, but Patui at that high of a percent and some maybe some sus di. Yeah, that's a, it's it's rough. But in that set, I think uh, I wanted to go over that one uh, a lot because of how PK Zap was having such a difficult time learning in that first game, adapting to his opponent, but then uh, second time around, we saw him kind of pick up on a few things uh, that Plant was throwing out, that Manny was just kind of doing. Uh, that set was a bit quicker. It was not, it was a, a bit of a wash, a two-stock both games, but he started picking up at the end, and I know that earlier on stream, he, he was talking about how he wanted to, uh, he wanted a VOD to review because he'd never gotten the Plant stream before, so now he has one, and now he has me talking about it, so that's like a 2-1-1, baby.